The Ender 5 is a pretty unique 3D printer. Very few printers in 2019 have an HBOT design, something typically found in higher end printers, for around $300 and are not a kit. One thing that is not unique is the noise it makes. That almost dot matrix like printer sound may be endearing to some, but with larger prints taking days to complete, the noise is not exactly ideal. While some printers, like the Anycubic i3 Mega, have user upgradable boards, Creality ones do not for cost saving measures. Luckily Creality has thought of this and makes a complete board swap to bring TMC 2208 goodness to the Ender 3 and the Ender 5. At $50, is it all upgrade? I'm not going to go too deep into the installation part of this seeing as it is literally unplugging everything in one place and plugging it in somewhere else. No changes, no surprises. I moved each cable one at a time to ensure I put them all back in the right place, but you don't have to. If you have an Ender 3, then you're done, installation complete, enjoy your new motherboard. But with an Ender 5, time to flash the motherboard, since at this point it thinks it's an Ender 3. Unfortunately, this is not a streamlined process, and the internet wasn't much help. Creality does host the file you need to flash, but it does not make the software you need to flash it. All the tutorials for flashing the Ender 3 and 5 all require you purchase additional hardware, something the new motherboard doesn't need. So what will you need? First, you'll need to get the file from Creality, the drivers from GoGoTronics, and AVR Dude. Links to everything below. Once you install the driver, plug in your printer to the computer using the USB cable and install AVR Dude, you are ready to flash your printer. I renamed the Creality firmware as Ender5.hex and put it in the root of the folder for AVR Dude. Then load up the command prompt to AVR Dude location and type in the following. My USB port ended up being COM3, but yours may be different. Once that is done, your printer should be ready to print. But it is not exactly the same. It seems like the voltages are lower for the stepper motors with this new motherboard, which, while it doesn't change most things, it can no longer reliably travel at speeds above 100 millimeters a second. This isn't too far off the 120 millimeters a second I was using before, and the printer is now almost silent other than the fans but it was one downgrade to an otherwise good, if not costly, upgrade, and it may ruin a few prints if you forget to change this. So should you get the silent motherboard for your Ender 5 or Ender 3? If you have a printer in a common area like I do, 100% yes. If yours is in a closet where you can't hear it, your printer is probably already silent enough. Thanks for watching guys, this is LOH Low Tech, and this has been a quick installation guys for the Creality Silent Motherboard. Subscribe!